Hi, my name is Paula Perez. I produce, record, edit, and translate Cocina con Ruzbe's videos. This week, I will share with you one of our family's favorite Thanksgiving recipes, and that is loaded mashed potato casserole. It is cheesy and delicious, and the best part is you can make this ahead and just pop it in the oven on Thanksgiving Day. So let's get started. Before we start, let me remind you that all of the ingredients and all of the timestamps are on the description below. We start by boiling the potatoes until they are nice and tender when we poke them with the fork. It takes about 25 minutes. The next part is a little challenging. We have to drain the hot water and then peel the potatoes while they're still hot. Once the potatoes were peeled, we mashed them with a pastry cutter. Now we like to do our potatoes this way because we like a chunky consistency rather than a totally smooth and creamy consistency. But of course it is entirely up to you. You decide how chunky you want it or how smooth you want it. When you reach your desired consistency, add the butter, sour cream, heavy cream, salt, and pepper. And mash until all of the other ingredients are well incorporated in the potato and the mixture is smooth yet also chunky. Now it is time to add some cheese. Add all of the cubes of Monterey Jack, add your green onions and only half of your grated cheddar cheese. And mix everything again and check for taste. If you need more pepper or more salt, now is the time to add it. Once the salt and pepper are to your liking, it is time to add the lightly beaten eggs. Butter a 9x13 baking dish and pour in the mashed potato mixture. Smooth it out and sprinkle over it the remaining grated cheddar cheese. Bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 35 minutes. The mixture should be bubbly around the edges, it should be heated through, and the cheese should be totally melted on top. You can prepare this casserole a day or two in advance. Simply pour in the mixture into your prepared casserole dish and cover it with plastic. On the day of Thanksgiving, take it out of the fridge, sprinkle the cheese on top, and bake. Hope you enjoy! No doubt about it, God is good, good to good people and good to the good hearted. But I nearly missed it. I nearly missed seeing his goodness. I was looking the other way, looking up to the people at the top, envying the wicked who have it made, who seem to have nothing to worry about. I tried to understand why it was that the wicked prospered, but what a difficult task it was until I entered the sanctuary of God. Then I saw the whole picture and I finally understood the destiny of the wicked. The slippery road you've put them on, with a final crash and a ditch of delusions, in an instant they are completely destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. We wake up and rub our eyes. Nothing. There's nothing to them and there never was. I belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. You are all I want in heaven, and you are all I want on earth. My health may fail and my spirit may grow weak, but you, O oh God, you remain the strength of my heart, and you are mine forever. Forever.